Hey there, I uh, thought I'd take a quick video. I just uh, got up to my cabin and I'm using a different vehicle than I normally use. And uh, let me just show it to you. So this is a Can-Am Defender Limited. If you've seen my other videos, you know I typically use uh, Argos, the uh, eight wheel drive vehicles with tracks on them. And the reason we do that is because we get some pretty deep powder here in Utah. And as you can see here, the track we just cut in it's in pretty good, and it took me <laughs> quite a few tries to get in with this, and I would say that the Argo would have handled that significantly uh, easier. Um, but I will say this about the Can-Ams, the Polaris's, and any of the side-by-sides on tracks. Uh, if you've got any kind of groomed trail or um, conditions that aren't quite this extreme or, or deep, my problem is coming up the hill more than anything. Um, then these probably would uh, work out better. I mean, honestly, they're, they're more comfortable, they're faster. Um, really, uh, about the only thing about them that, that isn't as good as an Argo is just their capability in the real, real deep stuff. And one of the challenges that we had as we've been using these this year is that every time we come up, our gear has just gotten, <laughs> it's just covered. As you can see here on the back, back of the bed, how much snow got thrown up on this. And, uh, we just barely installed uh, this new cover. Uh, it's made by the same people that made the cab for my Argo, made by Alumalite Armor. Let me uh, see if you can see them right there. Um, and uh, this cab cover is fantastic. You can see basically, and he can make these at any, any height. Troy was great to make me one of these for my Can-Am and one for my, my Ranger. And, um, they're not sponsored. I mean, I paid for these, uh, but I just, uh, I'm really impressed with them. Uh, they got a spot up here at top so you can put your gear that like, you know, fuel tanks and stuff that you wouldn't want in there. And then back here, this is totally sealed off. And, uh, open that guy up. You can see that'll just kind of go all the way up. And there's all my gear, you know, my leather bag, all my stuff, just completely dry as can be. And, uh, I tell you, if you're running these in the snow and you're running tracks, um, you may want to give Troy a call over there at Illuminate. I'll put a number down in the bottom of the video. And, uh, and like I said, he can make them any height you want. One of the ones that he's got goes all the way to the top of the cab up here, and then he puts windows in it so you can still see at your rear view mirror. I like this. I like to have some storage up top that is okay to be out in the weather, but then a nice dry box. And uh, honestly, he had a couple of other pieces to put in here to even make it more weatherproof. And I think maybe I'll reconsider that for dust in the summertime. Uh, but for the winter, I'm loving it. Anyway, yeah, just one quick, quick look at it. I'll uh, try and add a couple of pictures at the end of the video once the snow's off. Uh, so you can see what it actually looks like. It's a pretty nice looking unit. There you go. I brushed some of the snow off so you can see it better. See, it's he powder coated it black and silver for me. Anyway, I'm loving it. Give him a call if you want one. See ya.